Hey you guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I just got off work and I saw earlier today a leak for the Vancouver Canucks new alternate jersey and I decided I gotta make a video about this. You guys all know the Vancouver Canucks are my favorite team so this was an absolute must. Now this jersey is something I feel like people have kind of known was going to happen. I feel like people knew that the Vancouver Canucks was going to be bringing back the skate jersey as a full-time alternate. When they brought their skate jersey back the first time, it was brought back as the 50th anniversary jersey. Then they had that blue and green jersey the same year as their alternate jersey. And now they don't have an alternate jersey currently because they don't use that blue and green jersey anymore. And I guess they're bringing back the skate jersey. But they are making a little bit of a change from what we currently have. So what I have here actually in front of me is the original skate jersey that the Vancouver Canucks came with in their 50th anniversary. And uh, it's, it's a very nice jersey. Everyone loves this jersey. People say the Canucks should go to this full time. I think they're tripping. That's, a, that's probably a video for another day, but I would have to disagree. But there are some differences between this and the new one that is coming out. So let me show you guys. So I got it on my phone here. I'll have it up on the screen and you can see this is the jersey that is leaked for the Canucks alternate jersey. The thing is, this one's Fanatics. I guess Fanatics is the one who leaked it. Uh, but it's a very similar jersey to this one. You can tell the striping on there are solid colors. Well, well or the same stripe. Well, here they're attached. You can see, like, look, it goes yellow, then a little red. And on this one here that you can see on the screen, they're the same size but there's also a little bit of black in between. Same with on the torso here, and same with the difference on the torso on the other one. I, I don't know if I like it more. I don't know if I like it less. It, it's To be determined, I'll have to see the jersey in uh, different photos and in person, but the one change for me that I've noticed is there's a texture in the yellow striping on the arm. You can kind of see that. I don't know what that texture's supposed to insinuate or what that's supposed to mean, or even like what significant look that has for vancouver in general like I, I don't see anything cool in there i would have liked to see maybe some mountains in there or something like they have on the collar you can see in the back of the collar there's an outline of mountains which i think is really nice i think that looks cool it's very fitting for bc but why not put something like that in the striping if you're gonna put a design in the striping i think these lines are just a little bit weird it's almost like why do it but it's okay I think, I don't remember if I mentioned already, but the lack of white, there's no white in the logo or in the jersey. The original one I have here, there's no white in the lo in the jersey, but there is in the logo and something more specific in the text. So let me show you guys, we'll put the photo away for a sec here. You can see on this jersey, you got white inside the logo, which just allows the text and everything to pop on this. You also got some white lines, but what's huge is the numbers here are outlined in white which just allow the numbers to pop. Same with the captaincy patch here. So what I'm intrigued with is how the number kit's gonna work on this one, that this leaked jersey that doesn't have any white on it. It doesn't have any white in the logo. And that makes me think it's not gonna have white in the numbers as well. It'd be weird to have white in the numbers, but not on the logo in my opinion. Overall though, I think it's nice. I think it's cool that they're bringing it back. And my biggest takeaway here, regardless of how the jersey looks or if I like it better than this one or whatever, I like that they're doing something different. They're bringing back a jersey, but they are changing it up to just make it a little bit more unique and new. And I love that. I'm sick and tired of seeing jerseys coming back every single year, just bringing back the same jersey that was worn in the past. Like, why not try to revamp it, make it a little bit new? I know some jerseys are so classic that you shouldn't change them, but I still think it just adds to how cool it was back then. Like, this jersey stays cool and stays awesome because it's different from the new one, and they only wore it for that one year in Adidas. I think it was only one year at least. So it, it keeps this one being cool, and then they come up with something new. It doesn't ruin it or make it, like, just not as cool because you're seeing it all the time. I don't know. I'm rambling on. It makes sense in my head. I am excited that they're trying something new. I will 100% be buying it once it is released, and then I will do a comparison between this one and that one. You can see in the photos the obvious changes. I'm intrigued to see those striping in person because it's it's very, very weird in my opinion. Like I've already kind of said, I think it's very strange and I don't fully understand why they're doing it, but I am excited for it. The other change I actually just noticed while I was about to end this video here is up in the neck. The neck on the photo here in the leaked one is all solid black. Like there's no red, no yellow. It's just black all the way up. 
where well in this one it's got red around the neck and then yellow that goes around so that's very interesting it's going to be all solid black no shoulder patches as well i think it's going to be really cool i'm actually really looking forward to it but there you guys have it thank you guys so much for tuning in i really wanted to cover this i saw this like i said when i was at work and i really wanted to get home and record this for you guys and give you guys my honest opinions let me know what you guys think down in the comments of course and like the video if you enjoyed i'll talk to you guys in the next one Peace.